Well, thanks for coming out to cover it, guys. Um, I think the thing that stands out to me is there's no such thing as missed opportunities at this level of football because someone's going to always take them. And uh, Wisconsin took them. We did not take enough of them. Um, that starts and ends with me. I'm the head coach. We've got to get our program uh, to take advantage of those opportunities better. So how does that happen? It happens all week in practice. It happens in the off season. It happens. It's a cumulative effect to your program. I think the the most important thing that I can say and that I said is we're not there yet. But the word is yet. That's the operative word. We are getting there. We are getting better. But we're just not there yet. And uh, that's hard to take. It's hard for me to take. It's hard for our staff. It's hard for those kids. Um, but it's the truth. Now, can we be there seven days from now? Maybe. We'll see. That's the challenge. That's the race that we're against right now. Uh, but it's not for a lack of guys putting forth tremendous effort. It's not for a lack of a staff that's working their tail off to try to find the best ways to win the game. But um, Wisconsin, they took advantage of the opportunity. So I'll open it up for questions. What do you make of Gavin's performance today? I don't think offensively anything was very smooth today. I mean, and, and give Wisconsin credit. They made it that way. They played well. You know, they had a bye week. They looked fresh. Um, they did a couple things differently, but not, not much. You know, it wasn't like they did some wholesale change or anything over the bye week. They're building. Um, yeah, we just, it wasn't just Gavin. It was everybody. You know, we, we as a staff, we as a team, we just didn't execute with the level of de detail that's necessary to win these type of games. In uh, hindsight, obviously the pick six was a critical point in the game. You had the ball there, in, you know, inside the five. What did you make of the play calling? And w was there any emphasis to maybe run run the ball a little bit more? I know you ran out of first down. Any emphasis to Look, it's always, stick on the ground? Look, it's always, if it works, it's a great call. And if it doesn't, you could have done this and you could have done that. I, I mean, I refuse to get into that what if game because the reality is you make a decision with the time you have, which is usually about 12 seconds, right? Most people can't decide if they're going to go left or right at the light in 12 seconds. You got to make a play call to decide the fate of your game. And sometimes you make the right one and sometimes you don't. If that scores, that's the right right call. What did you, uh, what'd you see from your defense? I thought they kept fighting. I mean, we were not nearly detailed enough um, you know, we cut a guy loose on a touchdown pass. We, you know, some run reads, you know, Wisconsin does something in their run game that we haven't seen a lot of this year. So we had to really cram it into a week. Um, I thought we did a decent job, but probably if we had two weeks to get ready for that, it would have been better. Uh, but we didn't, you know, that's, that's life. Greg, did you say anything to Gavin after that pass and any concern that that's, that's the kind of mistake you'd, you'd hoped he had gotten past at this point? Yeah, I'm not sure how much of a mistake that is. The one thing I learned in pro football, quarterbacks are really, really developed performers. And uh, when I'd watch tape with them, they'd say, yes, coach, you and all the other fans and all the other coaches look and say, look, that guy's wide open or that guy's covered. He said, but run that back, run it back, run it back. Right there is when I had to make the decision, coach. And when I have to make the decision right there, it's a touchdown. When it leaves my hand, I've met very few quarterbacks who, who you know, unless they just don't see it. And Gavin seeing it is just, you know, I'll put it on me. I'll put it on him. When he released the ball, that was going to be a touchdown. They made a really good play on defense. That corner came off his man. You know, they're playing man there. He came off his man and intercepted it. It's a, it's a tough one. It's going to be a single. Whether we kick a field goal or we score a touchdown, it's fixing to be a, a one-score game, and now it's 17 to nothing. So, yeah. But I, I, the thing, again, I'm not into moral victories or one for the Gipper, but everybody kept fighting to the very, very end, and I think there's a belief in that locker room that we're going to do this. We just haven't done it yet. 
and I'm going to use that word for a little bit because we need to we need to make one of these Saturdays yet. When uh, you talk about being there, do you think that the defense is there? Is this defense good enough to win games by itself in the Big Ten? Well, I don't know if any one side of the ball is good enough to win games in the Big Ten Conference. I mean, it's the highest level of football, college football there is in the country. Um, our defense is getting better every week. We just got to keep getting better, you know. Um, but it's a team game. It's offense, it's defense, and it's special teams. And all three phases come together, and that's what makes a team. What uh, What did you see on the play? Gavin converts that fourth down. Looks like he got hit really hard in the back of the head. What were those conversations like after that? And what did the officials tell you about the targeting call? Because they called it, and then they rescinded it. Same thing they said on the the speaker. You know, it, uh, it was not targeting. I, I don't know. I mean, I'm... I'm worried about the kid. I'm worried about Gavin. Is he okay? You know, I, I can't imagine he was in the state he was where he didn't, but well, you know, I don't know. Greg, some special team mistakes tonight. Does that concern you? Um, I think we know how to fix the missed extra point. That I, I, I will. We'll get that fixed. Um, I mean, Rochelle catches that one. It should just let it go, and it goes out of bounds, right? But, I mean, it's meaningless. It's There's no time left in the half. What other mistakes are you referring to? The snap, yeah. He's done a great job punting. I mean, it's a guy's first time punting in the United States. Five games into this, or what are we, six games into it, half, halfway through the season, I think he picked up, you know, I'm not going to say he picked up where, where Adam left off because Adam was elite, but he's really, you know, it's not a noticeable thing. He's done a good job. He took his eye off one ball. I think that, you know, we got to get to the bottom. I think I know what it is, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not overly concerned about that until it becomes an issue bigger than that. But I, you know, you never say no because it happened. So you gotta you gotta deal with it. But I think we can deal with that. I think our guys are playing hard on special teams. You know, they're a good special teams team. They do they do things that challenge you. Uh, they had a bye week, right? Bye week is a very good thing to have. They changed some things with their punt protection during the bye week. We're a big punt block team, and they saw that and they made some changes that were good changes and made it where our punt block wasn't as effective. Are you concerned about the running game and its lack of success today? Until we score more points, I'm concerned about everything. The running game, passing game, blocking, there's routes, right? But we're getting better. I mean, it's better than it was, just not where we need to be. Um, they're a good defense. They played the best I think they've played this year on defense. You know, I haven't watched all of their games this year. Uh, again, they come off a bye week and they clean some things up. You could see that they, they – uh, they played well, so they're a well-coached team. Coach Fickle does a great job. Guys, appreciate it. Thanks for covering us.